What up, players? Warboss Tay back up in this mug. Welcome to my day three of the July Painting Challenge 2020. Hashtag WBTPC2020. Didn't get anything done in my studio, so let's answer the daily question. I want to throw it out there and see what you all have to say. And uh, while I'm talking, I'm going to be showing you pictures of my dog, Duke, before, in the midst of, and after my lady boss gave him a little haircut because all the doggy salons are closed. So you're gonna see him going from looking like a shaggy yak beast to a cute little teddy bear puppy dog, which is what we like. And plus it's summer too, so all that extra fur having it off is it's made him so much happier. All right, when was the last time you were painting that you felt you were in the zone where your eyes and hands are moving almost by magic and everything you paint is turning out amazing? Do you achieve this state of mind often and how do you trigger it? The last time I really felt connected to what I was doing what I call in the zone was when I had more models than I knew what to do with. I was so buried in models that I just lined them up on the table in front of me and I just painted one after the other. And I only did one thing. I did a base coat for 100 models. And then I went back and I did a base coat for the boots. And then I did a base coat for the pants. And then I did a base coat for the gas masks. And that's right, it was the Death Corps of Krieg. I, I felt myself in this state of mind a couple times after this, but when I had that project, boy, I felt really just plugged in to what I was doing. There were so many models, I couldn't stress out over every single model. I realized I just had to get it done and then I could go back later and fix it. And how, how did I achieve this state of mind? How did I uh, get into it was, I just put the models in front of me. I organized what I had to do. It wasn't disorganized. It wasn't me having to think, well, what should I paint? What colors? How should I uh, approach it? If you have too many available paths, you might find yourself being crippled with the indecision of which way to go. So I said, okay, I'm gonna do this. Coats, trousers, boots, gas masks. And when you have it laid out in front of you precisely like that, you're going to find it's a lot easier to plug into that state of mind. And how long does it take? Just five minutes. Make yourself nice and comfortable, get a nice, uh, get your fan on or, or open the windows, make sure you have enough light, a drink nearby so that uh, you don't have the need to get out of your chair. Make sure your chair is comfortable. Make sure it's uh, supported and you have a cushion if you need it. And then just five minutes where you're focused on what you're doing is all it takes. So I hope this little video helped. I wanted to put it at the start of the painting challenge because I know when we get into the week two, the week three slog, it's going to, we're really gonna need to figure out uh, how to focus on what we're doing, how to re-plug into that creative energy. And that's why I wanted to ask this for day three. So you have the resources to go out there and get the job done. Thank you so much for watching everybody. I really appreciate seeing everyone in the Discord. I'm gonna try this weekend to uh, plug into it more and be there right along with you guys. So if you have any questions or you just wanna say what's up, then uh, you can find me there. All the uh, information, the links for my Discord and my Patreon is down there. Speaking of Patreon, thanks to Joe Razorwire, Pix, Harry Smith, Logan Swanson, Darth Torlin, Kim Arn Larson, and brand new to the Players Club, Octave Villar. Thank you guys so much for supporting my studio. If you want to join them, you can hit up the Players Club at patreon.com slash We'll see you tomorrow.